Okay, listen up. Every time we do something about marijuana pot on this show, we get a huge response. So if you have any interest in this, uh, stick around for this next segment. We're going to talk now about fake marijuana that can get users high like the real thing, maybe even a little bit higher. We're going to talk to a doctor about it. It's often sold in an incense with a brand name like K2. K2. It is a blend of herbs and plants sprayed with chemicals, and it's perfectly legal to buy in most of the U.S., even if you are a minor. Did you hear that? Perfectly legal, similar effects to marijuana. But Kansas is now the first state to ban K2, and others may follow suit now. Uh, officials are alarmed by the reports of users ending up in emergency rooms after smoking the synthetic blend. So joining me now to talk about it is Dr. Anthony Scalzo. He is a pediatrician and is a professor of toxicology at St. Louis University, or SLU, as they say in St. Louis. Uh, thank you so much. It is uh, good to see you. Okay, so this, this is, um, it gives similar effects. The THC part of it, it's legal. What are the dangers quickly, though? Well, the effect on the brain is different than marijuana um, in a sense that it does cause psychotropic uh, types of activity. In other words, it makes you uh, high. more high, yes, exactly. But it does not do exactly the same thing as marijuana to mellow you out. It's causing uh, these patients, typically the ones I've been seeing are 14 to 21, a 30-year-old, a 35-year-old, 39-year-old, the oldest I've seen, and they're getting agitated. Anxious. Well, because marijuana typically does not make you anxious. It just makes you want to sit on the couch and maybe watch more TV. Or, no, you know, do... it, makes, it makes you mellow and relaxed. And in fact, it might lower your blood pressure. It might lower your heart rate, not raise it to dangerous levels that we've been seeing, like 140 beats per minute. This is not just a few beats per minute. You know, like you work out, you do a little exercise. In fact, so with the... exercise, you lower your blood pressure. So then why are people comparing it to marijuana if it's, it's oh, the similar effects to THC, similar effects to marijuana? It just seems like the opposite effect to me. Well, you know, the, the situation is this, that we, we, the sky is not falling. We don't have 10,000 individuals around the country coming in with these adverse effects, but we have a large number of them. And it may be a situation with a batch of these substances, or it may be what I refer to in toxicology as a simple property of dose determines toxicity. There may be some that are sprayed with too much of this synthetic cannabinoid, mm -hmm. as you say, legal cannabinoid or marijuana-like substance. Okay. But it is, um, you are seeing people coming in, and I think the danger is that it's legal. If, if, especially young people are going to smoke it, um, and it's perfectly legal. That's your concern. You said you're not seeing right. tens of thousands, but you are seeing the numbers. Right. Increase. And we may be seeing those thousands that are not reporting themselves. I was talking to a couple of physician colleagues in ERs, and they said they had a couple of patients just like that the other night, yeah. but they didn't admit to smoking it. But they suspect after talking to me that that's what the agent was. They're okay. not cocaine. They're not, mar you know, they're not marijuana positive on the drug screens. They're not PCP or methamphetamine. Okay, and here's a question then. It's people are going to say it's a slippery slope, as with uh, yes. cocaine, and then cocaine turned into crack, synthetic. People wanted to increase it. Marijuana, in some ways, may be turning into this. This is an argument for some people who want to regulate marijuana in some sense because they will say if uh, you do that, then you may not get all of these other side drugs uh, that will potentially increase your heart rate and have these symptoms that you don't want. Yeah, I don't disagree with that. I, I think the problem is that these synthetic chemicals were not developed to be exactly like marijuana. Mm -hmm. They were developed for many useful medical purposes to help with um, appetite uh, for cancer patients or to help with the immune system and uh, they actually in proper doses do these effects but the, the, the situation we have is that there's unregulated amounts of these chemicals in these products and we're seeing individuals reacting negatively to them uh, for their heart rate and their blood pressure and all, and all the other nervous system effects that we're seeing. Yeah, Doctor, appreciate it. Good information. Thank you. You're welcome.